Where is that? We woke up this morning, our first day in New Zealand, and we were down having some breakfast. And then all of a sudden, there's these noises coming from outside. When we actually opened up the blinds, we looked out and we could see a whole heap of people out there. There were probably about eight or nine of them. And there was a lad standing up the front with a shell and it was blowing into it. And then all of a sudden, they started doing the haka. When we came outside and saw them, they were all sort of standing there. The guy in the front, he actually looked quite mean. I had never seen the haka up close and personal before. So I think the only time I've ever seen it is like when the All Blacks do it, um, before like a rugby match. There's some mean faces that come out of those people. But there was some uh, quite attractive men dancing there too, so it wasn't too bad to look at it early in the morning. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. Hey! <laughs> my name is Rodney James Parker. I've been doing haka myself since I was uh, about six. That's really good. We're That's doing amazing. this, are we? We're <laughs> doing this. My name's Trish. My name's Trish Moike. I've been doing kapa haka dance since I was a child. Now, Trish is going to explain a little bit about that haka. Um, the haka that you've just seen was written especially for you guys. And what it talks about is a god called Tane Mahuta, but it's also the name of a tree that we have in the far north. It was about an ancient tree that's thousands of years old. No matter what goes on around, it's just withstood the test of time and it's grown to be what it wants to be. And um, it was basically just an empowering haka for us to let us know that we can do anything that we want if we put our minds to it. It's really unfortunate that Chris couldn't participate in the haka session that we had. He hasn't been feeling well, so he wasn't able to get out of bed and join us. Demonstration for Korkiri will go hoit, hoit. Hoit, hoit, ah. During the training session, we taught them basic drills, a lot of footwork, because we wanted to get the heart rate up there. Hoit, hoit, hoit. We started to realise, you know, it's not that bad, and it's kind of fun, and it's actually really hard. It was very aerobic, and we did it for about an hour all up, and it was, uh, it was an extremely good workout. We worked up a massive sweat in that. Ha, ah. hey, ha. Ah. The haka was designed to give us more strength and inspiration and, and to carry on in our journey and what we're doing, to have faith and courage in ourselves. And I thought that was a really nice, you know, haka for us to learn. The haka is very special to the Maori race, so I didn't want to disrespect it in any way. But um, we did have fun doing it. Hukana means to make a really ugly face, like, you know, the men roll their eyes into the back of their heads, poke their tongues out, make a ferocious noise. The woman, we don't poke our tongues out, you know, that's really unfeminine, so we just make our eyes big and... My face was so stupid. Everyone laughed at me, so <laughs> I don't think I was scaring no one. OK, so pull that through the haka, just pull it out. I think they put a lot of effort into it. I've trained other people before and they haven't put as much effort as these guys have. I was, I was very impressed. Ah! Awesome. Good work. Very good, very good. So we're just going to come through and uh, give you guys a hungi. Oh, we're going to get a nose kiss early in the morning. So he comes over and it's, it's a really weird feeling, which is like you're going to go and kiss, but you squash noses. Good luck with the rest of it. See you later. Bye. It's just a beautiful way to start the first part of this experience. I think it's going to be a really special week.